Hi, this video is going to go over fiscal policy and crowding out. So first, a quick definition of fiscal policy. It's policy that the government can enact. It's a change in government expenditures or taxes to mitigate unemployment or inflation. So unemployment's bad, inflation is bad. You can only really help one or the other. You can't do both at the same time. So right here, we're showing our model in equilibrium aggregate demand crosses aggregate supply at the long run aggregate supply level so let's say that aggregate demand were to increase we are now in an inflationary gap inflationary because what's going to happen in the long run is prices are going to go up so we'll still be at the same old GDP level but prices will rise so what the government can do is raise taxes or lower expenditures and that will shift the aggregate demand curve left and hopefully get us back to long-run equilibrium without experiencing inflation it's also possible that we could be in a recessionary gap. So this gap right here would be called a recessionary gap, meaning that unemployment's too high, GDP is too low, we have to experience deflation to get back to long-run equilibrium. So what the government can do in this situation through fiscal policy is increase expenditures or decrease taxes to get us back to that long-run equilibrium. So what happens when the federal government enacts expansionary fiscal policy expansionary fiscal policy is a decrease in taxes or an increase in expenditures to shift aggregate demand right or to increase it. So what happens in this scenario or what can happen is that crowding out can occur and crowding out crowding out occurs when the government essentially takes money away from private firms that would like to borrow it so if the government didn't borrow the money private firms would and they would invest it but if the government takes that money through lowering taxes or increasing expenditures, then private firms no longer have access to it. So how does this work? Let's go through the process of crowding out. First, government spending becomes greater than tax revenues, assuming that we were in a balance beforehand. This means that the government deficit becomes positive. So they have to get that money from somewhere in order to spend it or lower taxes. So three, government borrows money. When the government borrows money, that decreases nationwide saving. In order to maintain equilibrium in the loanable funds market, the interest rate must rise to dissuade as much investment or some investment and to increase more savings. Otherwise, we won't be in equilibrium. So we see interest rates rise. As interest rates rise, the opportunity cost of borrowing money becomes greater. 
so firms and consumers borrow less. Consumers and firms borrow less. So what does this mean when we go back to our original aggregate demand, aggregate supply model? We saw here that if we were in a recessionary gap, what the government could do is an enact expansionary fiscal policy to get us back to equilibrium. However, when they do that, they increase interest rates, which decreases investment and consumer borrowing, which will actually shift the aggregate demand curve left a little. So if the government does enact expansionary policy, there's potential for crowding out, which would be this arrow right here, to occur. So let's go through an example real quick on a graph that isn't as busy. We have real GDP, price level, Our aggregate demand slopes down, our short run aggregate demand slopes up, and our long run aggregate supply is fixed at some long run equilibrium of real GDP. So let's say that the government enacts expansionary fiscal policy. Our first shift, expansionary fiscal policy say the stimulus package that's going on in the United States today that increases aggregate demand increases real GDP in the short run however the government has to get that money some from somewhere and when the government gets that money there's less money available in the loanable funds market which means to get back to equilibrium interest rates have to rise interest rates rise the opportunity cost of borrowing increases some good ideas that firms wanted to borrow money for don't seem that good anymore because money's more expensive so they lower investment spending and we see this backward shift due to crowding out so we would think that we would end up here but in reality, we end up here in the short run. And that's because of crowding out and that increase in interest rates because of government borrowing.